Let's play Mega Man X for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. This is a collaborative LP between me and several other forum goers of the Spoonie Experiment, run by Spoonie1 here of YouTube, at least at the time of this recording. And contrary to popular belief, it's actually not for squares. You should go there. You should support the man, because he is humorous. Now, this LP is split up between eight different people over there on the boards. Each one of us gets a different level. I got shows first, so not only am I doing the intro level, I'm doing Chill Penguin stage, because I swear to God, I'm not going out of the re recommended order for this game. Yeah, I'm kind of not much of a Mega Man player. The last Mega Man I gained game I played seriously was Mega Man X4, and that was only because of Akuma, I mean Magma Dragoon, who was pretty badass, and if you don't do not respect him, I don't like you. Anyway, uh, so yeah, if you're kind of uh, allergic to sucking, you might want to go out and watch something else more competent, but if you want to watch me fail, or you like listening to me ramble, hey, welcome to have you aboard. Anyway, this is the intro level. You'll notice that the future is very dark and Blade Runner-esque. I don't know if I'm a replicant or anything, or if I am hunting them. But then again, the plot of this game, of the whole Mega Man X series, is based a lot on Blade Runner. I just hope that Harrison Ford isn't playing X here, because he doesn't really look like him that well. This is your first mid-boss. He is a bee. He does not sting you strangely. And I'm pretty sure bees don't have machine guns. Or helicopter propellers, for that matter. I don't know, I really don't make it a point to look at bees. I'm kind of deathly afraid of them. I have a tendency to break out in hives. Ha <laughs> ha That was a bug-related joke. Anyway, once you kill him, you get to move on and, well, fight his brother, but that's later on. So yeah, new features introduced in Mega Man X, if you don't know it for some reason. Dashing. You can't dash until Chill Penguin stage is, until you get a certain part, so don't try it here. And there's wall jumping, which allows you to, well, jump up walls. Ooh, you know, creativity with the naming there. Um, yeah, pretty much those are the new features, and they carry over to the other incarnations. Mega Man Zero, Mega Man CX, Mega Man um, Sequel After ZX, which is Legends, but I don't think wall jumping's there, and then again, I don't tend to acknowledge Legends in my Mega Man lore. On the account that they look fucking stupid, of course. Anyway, um, these are bees. Bees... There's a bee theme here, I'm not sure why. I I mean, if I was attacking a highway, I wouldn't attack with, like, bees. You know, I'd get things with, like, guns. Well, these guys have guns. They fire it out of their butts. Butt guns. I don't normally use butt guns in my uh, death army. At least, the one I'm trying to build up. These guys are annoying, too. They like to laugh at you after you hit them, and they just piss me off so much. Fuck those guys. Also, Pontiacs in the future will try to run you over and shoot, the, shoot you. So you'll have to shoot them, because... Their rides are a piece of shit, aren't they? Anyway, I think we're getting to the end of the uh, intro level here after we jump some Pontiacs, and um, if I recall correctly, around this time should be... Okay, here we go. This is the uh, cruiser that Dr. Robotnik loaned to Capcom for use in this game. Its main attack is to spit out Pontiacs at you. This is bad, because those cars are crap. In the future, at least. I don't know about now. I'm not really much of a car guy. But in the future, if something shoots at me, it is automatically declared evil. Anyway, you'll want to shoot the Pontiacs, because their paint job is horrible. Also, they're trying to kill you, but that's just a minor note. Once you kill all the Pontiacs, the real boss of this stage will come out. Boba Fett Ripoff! I mean, Vile! Who is purple, and totally not related to Star Wars in any way. You cannot kill him! Don't try! You will only look like a fool. This is why I am trying to do it right now. Even though you can shoot him, it's not going to do any damage. The real point of this fight is to get your ass kicked, basically, because after your life gets to a certain level, he'll start shooting these energy balls at you, which will paralyze you, like here. This gives Vile ample time to wander over and spout some generic I am superior to you crap that I don't pay attention to. Look, you're not Han Solo, so just let me go, alright? However, you have an ally in this fight, because this series also introduces Zero, who is a ripoff of Mega Man X in more ways than one. 
Originally, in the Mega Man X series, you were supposed to play as Zero, but they figured, hey, we want a different version of the Blue Bomber, even if he is a lot more angsty and pacifist, because that's what the kids love, I'm sure. So they made X, but they pushed Zero over to the side. Zero gets his own series later in Mega Man Zero, and that doesn't work as well, you know, compared to here, but that's another story for another playthrough that I'm not going to do. So yeah, at this point of the, you know, game, X is just weak ass, because, you know, he kind of beat a giant guy loaded up in a mech. What the fuck's your problem, boy? Zero's giving him the pep talk. Okay, you're cool, you know, if you keep working at it, you'll be as strong as I am. And maybe you'll have a nice, luxurious head of hair underneath that helmet. I don't know. Why don't you look once in a while? Take a bath. So yeah, that's basically the intro level right there. And this is the password. They use Metars for some reason, even though you don't really see Metars that much in the series. Anyway, this is the boss select screen, and from here we'll select Chill Penguin next. I'm the Hell Dragon. Join me next time when I take on Chill Penguin himself in the Mega Man Let's Play. See you then.